Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Gallat. Welcome to Trigger Time TV brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. What do you do if you're in a fight and you can't run away and there is no cover? Tatiana Whitlock talks about pressing the fight. Hi folks, Tatiana Whitlock here with Trigger Time TV. We're going to take a few minutes and talk about a fairly unpleasant subject entailing pressing the fight. Of course, if we have an opportunity to evade, to avoid, to get behind a position of cover or concealment before engaging an attacker, that's our first priority. However, there are places and spaces where that's just not going to be available to us office buildings, hotel hallways. There's so many environments that are linear, tubular, and very limiting. You get what you get. You're gonna to have to make some tough choices. In this instance, we're gonna talk about you have no choices. You have two possibilities available to you, move forward or move back. And honestly, moving backwards, as we all know, is far less than optimal. It's very hard to maintain balance. You're stepping into an unknown that you cannot see. There's so much more opportunity to stumble, to fall, to trip. And then, of course, you've given them the advantage, and that's not what we want. In this instance, it's more advantageous to press the fight. You have no physical cover or concealment, so the only thing that you've really got at your disposal is to provide some ballistic cover and bring the fight to them. You have a gun, you're prepared to use it, you're dedicated to saving your life, and you're committed to doing so. So let's take a look at what that's going to look like. Talking it through real quickly, step number one is threat assessment. You have to make sure the person that you're engaging needs to be shot in order to save your life. Make sure that you look at the whole body, you identify what's in their hands, and you make a critical decision that you can live with the consequences of for the rest of your life. From that point on, we're going to get an explosive burst out of the holster, clearing that cover garment successfully, presenting the target, the gun on target, and aggressing towards your attacker. This is an explosive movement. It needs to be hard. It needs to be fast, tracking your sights. So let's take a look at it. So we're rounding the corner into the hallway. We see our problem. Drive out of the hotel. Give them a minimum of three, however many it takes to get them to the ground. Track them to the ground. Make sure they can't hurt you there. You're making sure that they do not have the gun in their hands. You're making sure that they can't use it. This is an opportunity to control the situation verbally or if you have to control them further ballistically to keep them from continuing to engage you. It's where you have to make some choices. Now I have to make sure that the space behind me, behind him, down the hallway is still safe to me. I'm looking over the top of my sights, making sure that while the gun is in play, I'm not totally covering someone that doesn't need to. Reevaluate my bad guy, and if need be, I'm going to administer to the gun. Do a tactical, administrative, or depending on how much you mag dumped, emergency reload right here. So for the purpose of, purposes of instruction, I'm going to come on back and slow, deliberate reholster. Now, of course, in the real world, this is where we're getting our cell phone out as we move to a position of cover. This is may, where we may go back down the hallway, creating some distance from us and them. Pinning up in a corner, for example. You've got a number of options, but the key is that when you're practicing this, the things that are vital, you've identified your problem, you've identified that the gun is the only solution to that problem, and then you apply it liberally and judiciously to solve the problem at hand. It's psychologically menacing for them, but then keep in mind they're trying to kill you. So the gun is the solution, put it to work appropriately. Take your time with it again at beginning and then ramp up as you go. So folks, bring as much reality to the range as possible. Train in the context of your life for the fight of your life. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Glock, 
Velocity Systems, Mayflower Research and Consulting, Lucid Optics, Bravo Company USA, Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Christensen Arms, Silencer Co., Primary Weapon Systems, Law Tactical, Nemo Arms, and Flint River Armory.